Megan here from AM Soaps. I'm going to make a soap today that I'm calling winter. Um, but it is a like Christmas tree smell. I'm using this fragrance oil, White Christmas, and it's not quite enough for the soap. So I'm also going to use a little bit of Frisier Fur, which I used. I have some left. Remember, I, if you saw the video, I mixed this one with the firewood fragrance in that in that soap. So I wasn't going to make this soap, and then I've had a request from people to make my Christmas tree soap, they call it. So, because I made it last year and it was very popular, so people want it back, so I kind of want I will make it. People enjoyed it. The risk of making a soap like this is if it doesn't sell during Christmas, here, you've got this soap, and uh, this one, I'm so I'm naming this one Winter instead of evergreen or Christmas tree. This is my topping I'm going to set aside for later. I always make the topping first and then so while I'm making the rest of the soap it's setting up and then I can pipe it when I'm you know it has a steady progress. So this soap is going to have three different greens and a white um, and I'm going to use a hanger swirl. Oh, wonderful batter. Now I'm going to split it up into portions. This portion here. So I'm going to make three greens and one white. The base is going to be white. And then I'm going to pour, I want sort of a triangular layered pour, and then I'm going to use the hanger swirl to move it. Like I'm looking for the movements of a tree or the look of the Christmas tree. I have this emerald green mica. Now one of these might turn gray. Some of, one of my greens turns gray on me. That's okay, gray is pretty. This is lime green mojito mica. I think this is the one that turns gray. And one last one. And none of these fragrances cause discoloration. This one is marked, it says word lime. So <laughs> if my lime green turns gray, my green, darker green is going to turn lime. So it'll all work out okay in the end.
Hey friends, it's Megan here. I'm back to cut my soap. It has been exactly 24 hours and it smells really good. It smells like just fresh Christmas smells. Um, definitely a Christmas tree, a little bit of Um, I don't know what you would call it smell. Yeah, it just reminds me of wreath and cinnamon. It's just cinnamon smelling in it. I don't know. So I'm going to cut it here and we'll have a look inside. I'm excited because I think the outside is very pretty. Um, let's see this. Let's see what let's see what's going on inside. That's why they call it the hearth. So, yeah, I can see I got some of my. It's interesting. I got purple going on, and I put no. I didn't put any purple in this. We've morphed. Got some. <laughs> the purple's hard to get. So, here's what I wanted: these straight lines. So I've gotten some of that. I think that would that reminds me of pine needles, tree shapes. And the one of the greens has turned purple. That's very interesting. And that's perfectly fine with me. I think it's neat looking. That looks like a like bird if the heart were the moon. And there's a bird in there. They have a landscape look to them. with these. I'm glad I made this soap. It will be at the mid and late November markets. Just in time for these Christmas gifts. Oh cool. I really like this one. Got my lines, that's what I wanted. With the hanger tool, I wasn't doing swirls, I was just going straight back and forth to get those straight lines, is what I wanted. This is mostly white Christmas fragrance oil. A little bit of freezier fur put in. That's my most colorful one is this one, I think. A lot of green in that. And last piece. This would be, I always put a piece out for people to touch and smell. It would be this one. So I hope that you enjoyed watching this video of my winter soap and I'll see you in the next video. Take care everybody.